Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of how to make a video by using Adobe Spark, which you can find at spark.adobe.com. Now, there are a couple of options here. You can use a free commercially available account to anyone who has a Google, Facebook, email, or Adobe account, or your school can sign up for a school-wide implementation. In this case, I want to use a Google account, and we'll go ahead and sign in. And now to make a video, up at the top, simply click on the plus icon and select video. Now we're going to give our video a title. And we'll click Next. I'm going to use the Make Up Your Own template, which is not really a template at all. And now we're going to put our video together on a slide-by-slide -slide basis. So let's start by adding a picture to appear at the beginning of the video. I'm going to select Photo. And I can upload a photo. I can connect my Google account or my Dropbox account if I have pictures in there that I'd like to use, or I can use the built-in search tool. In this case, I'm going to upload a picture from my desktop. We'll use that image. We'll call this one a tour of my neighborhood. And you can see here I can adjust the size of the font. Now if I don't like that font style, I'll go to theme and I'll choose a different style from the menu on the right hand side. Now let's add another picture. Now this time, I'm going to do a split screen. I'll add a picture on the left and I'll add text on the right. And again, I'm going to upload a photo. And I'll use this picture here. And I'll add my text. Our local library. And again, I can change the font size. Now let's add one more slide and this time I'm going to add in a video option. And so I'm going to upload this video that I have on my desktop. And you can see here I can adjust the amount of the video that I want to use and the placement of the video in terms of where it starts and ends. I can crop that out. And now I'll save that. And that will be inserted into the slide that we're working on. And you can see here I can still put text over the top of it. And I might want to make that text just a little bit smaller. All right, so now we'll go back and record some voiceover. One of the great things about Adobe Spark is that I can just simply hold down this record icon and record my voice. This video is a short tour of my neighborhood in South Paris, Maine. Now I'll go and record over this one. Our local library is only open a couple of days a week and it's a unique building that used to be a jail. Now obviously I don't want to do a voiceover on top of the video 
Otherwise, we'll have two voice tracks playing at the same time. Let's do a preview of this one slide. This video is a short tour of my neighborhood in South Paris, Maine. Now, you'll notice that some background music was automatically added in to my video. If I don't like that background music, I'll simply go to the upper right corner, select music. I can turn it down. I can turn it off entirely. And you can see I can use different soundtracks or even upload my own music. Now all of the soundtracks that you see listed by Adobe Spark are Creative Commons licensed and free for you to use. And again, I'm going to turn down the background music on that one. When I'm finished with my video and I'm happy with everything that's in it, we can hit the download button and it will save as an mp4 file on my computer or we can hit the share button to share it online. So that's how you can create a simple video by using Adobe Spark. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.